Okay, so on the 19th of May, the official Sims Twitter account tweeted this, which is basically telling us what the new kits are going to be. I made a video a while back speculating what they could be, and kind of just as I imagined, it's like an outdoorsy kind of theme, late night outdoors kind of theme. So the two kits are going to be called Moonlight Chick Kit and Little Campers Kit, and the artwork is genuinely adorable. It's going to be released on May 26th. That's tomorrow as I'm recording this video. Wow, okay, that's soon. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why they decided to release them both at the same day. A bit like me when I decide to release two videos on one day. Not necessarily a good idea because, I don't know, I is, is, are people going to buy both when they release it the same day? I don't know. Here we have a picture of the little campers kit and we have some child sims outside watching a movie on this very cute screen. It has been confirmed this is just a build and buy mode kit but genuinely look at it, it's so cute. It's not a gameplay kit but like look at this. We have some content for kid sims even if it's not gameplay which I'd have liked but after the last gameplay kit, <coughs> bust the dust kit, mm. do I want another gameplay kit? No, not really. <laughs> I actually kind of like this one. I am considering potentially getting this one because we got some cute stuff and also fairy lights fairy lights. It's 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 cute, okay? So that is one of the kits that is releasing tomorrow. And we also have this Moonlight Chic kit releasing tomorrow as well. So very cute. We also... We already have a lot of clothing items in The Sims 4. We have a lot of clothing kits specifically. Does any of this look really new to me? Like stuff we don't already have in the game? Uh, not really. But hey, I guess it's good for console players because obviously console players cannot get custom content since they cannot have mods or CC in The Sims. And I don't know, anyone that wants extra content, good, good. But I probably won't be getting it myself. But, I mean, okay, kits at this point, we're kind of just used to them, aren't we? I don't really get much FOMO when I don't get a kit, to be honest. Like, people talk about it for a couple of days and then the hype's usually died, so... <laughs> I don't know, I don't really care too much about kits, but I do like the... I like this one. I want to call it the backyard kit, but we already have Sims 4 backyard stuff. The little campers kit, it is kind of cute. That's going to be released tomorrow. Kits are about £5 in the UK, half the price of a stuff pack. We know this now. It varies in different countries. Is it really worth paying half the price of a stuff pack for a third of the content? Not especially, but this one actually looks kind of cute. I do like it. But anyway, this was not the main topic of this video. The main topic of this video is the new update we have for The Sims 4. We now have a pronouns update for The Sims 4. The pronoun update for The Sims 4 was campaigned by Momo Misfortune. They campaigned for The Sims 4 to have more inclusive pronouns for The Sims 4. I believe it was last year. They basically created a campaign for people to sign where they petitioned for The Sims team to add more inclusive pronouns into The Sims 4. And then The Sims actually revealed that they were going to add these to The Sims 4. It was just going to take a while. They showed a sneak preview in a live stream a while back. And now they're suddenly in the game. So Momo basically spearheaded this change being added to The Sims 4. So they stream on Twitch. So there, there is their Twitter page. I will link their Twitter and their Twitch channel in the description so that you can go and follow them. They are basically the main reason that this was added to the game. So yesterday, The Sims tweeted about the pronoun update being added to The Sims 4. So basically anyone that plays The Sims 4 and updates their game will now be able to set custom pronouns for their Sims. Currently it is only in English, but they are looking to add this for other languages as well. I like the fact that they've been transparent with this. Obviously they are going to add this to other languages, but it just takes a little bit of time to work out how it's going to translate to different languages but I really hope that they get on to fixing that soon so I'm just going to show you it in game. Okay so I've just loaded up my game and it says customize sims pronouns major update the pronoun system is here. Okay oh I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> I didn't mean to do creator sim stories. Oops. I'll just I'll just put random answers. We've got a sim that is lazy, a goofball, and creative. So basically now we have a first name and last name option, and we also have the option to change pronouns. So there's these three pronouns, they, them, she, her, and he, him, or you can also do custom pronouns, which is obviously good for anybody that uses neo pronouns. If you don't know what they are, they're basically just alternatives to the ones listed there, which are often used by gender non-conforming people, and these pronouns make them feel more comfortable. So basically with this, you have the option to set your own pronouns for each of the sims, which I think is good because it allows it to be inclusive so that everybody can use their pronouns that make them feel comfortable, perhaps if they're making their sim self. I like that they've also got here, they've got the different uses of them, so they've got subjective, they would like grilled cheese, objective, Bob told them about the best grilled cheese recipe ever, possessive, dependent, grilled cheese is their first love, possessive independent that burnt grilled cheese is theirs and reflexive eliza made the grilled cheese themselves and you've got it so that you can just customize them all so maybe you've got a sim that wants to use she they pronouns you can type in she so that they use in the subjective they have she would like a grilled cheese but then for objective they can also use they pronouns as well. So you have that customizability. is that even a word? I'm not particularly sure. I do want to say that obviously this is a very important update for many people and if you use this feature to mock people in any way or to make some ridiculous kind of jokes, you are not welcome here on this channel because that is not what it is used for, so we, we do not like that. So now we have set the pronouns for the sim, I will take her into live mode so that we can see their pronouns show up in notifications. We might get a mood look from eating, perhaps, so if we just do grilled cheese or something and then we can get a mood look. Okay, so this particular buff, I am using the MC Command Center, which is a mod, but obviously you don't need to have this to get the pronouns to work in your sims game. I just... I'm using this so that you can see them. There's a FOMO stress one, and it says about sim first name, get stressed out watching other sims whisper, and then it's got what looks like here pronouns, and then always wonders what secrets, and then more pronouns missing out on. So if we add this one, Joel always gets stressed out watching other sims whisper. She, okay, it's using the wrong pronoun here, I believe. It's got, she always wonders, and then it's using the wrong one, so I'm kind of confused. I'm wondering if that was a bad example to use. Um, what about if I go into creator sim? If I put full edit mode on. Okay, I'm still kind of confused as to why that didn't work because I've got these custom set pronouns here. What about if I just click on they them pronouns? See if it's, I will see if it works. Okay, that looks like there is um, an error with the coding um, for this particular moodlet. I'm not sure if it's the case with all of the moodlets. Obviously there is quite a lot to go through, but it seems like with this FOMO stress one, it corrects the pronoun for the first bit with the they always wonder. Okay, so it's got here reached gardening level 10. Joel is now the ultimate gardener. Uh, it's got they is. So I feel like there's still some more work the Sims team need to do with like the coding to get things to work because obviously they are would make m much more sense. Um, but it is a good start and it seems like they work for the most part. Hopefully they will follow with other languages soon and obviously sort out a few little issues that I noticed. This is a really good step towards more inclusivity for players and basically Momo Misfortune is responsible for all of this and the campaign that they created so it's really exciting and like I said if you're going to hate on the inclusion of this feature or anything like that just leave. So I'm really happy that this update has now been added to the Sims game because it means that a lot of players can now use the Sims to make themselves feel better represented and you know a lot of Simmers use it as a form of escapism and now can be referred to in a way that makes them feel comfortable and obviously calling somebody by their right pronouns is not a difficult thing to do. Everybody should do that because it's such a small change to make to make somebody feel way more comfortable so I'm glad that we finally have this in the sims game 
but I was about to end this video and then I saw a tweet that The Sims has now updated the goth family so I need to go and check that out. So literally an hour ago, probably when I first started recording this video, The Sims tweeted grab the fruitcake and welcome wagon. The new improved goth family is available now in every new game in the start of The Sims 4. And we also have two new scenarios and a Sims delivery express with three new build items. Oh my gosh, and we have a new Simlish song in the game as well. Oh, we have a moodlet lamp, we have a new table, and we have a new chair. <gasps> oh my god, right, so much is happening right now. I don't even know how long this video is going to be. Oh my god. Oh, also I've seen that The Sims 4 My Wedding Stories, the broken game pack is on sale. Save 20% it says, but to be honest, in my opinion, I feel like they either need to fix this game or reduce the price of it a lot more for it to be worth it, so I probably won't be getting it. Okay, so it looks like the new scenario is Best Friends Forever. The themes are friendship, romance, and school. A good friend knows all your stories. A best friend helps you write them. That's a really cute description. They say best friends are forever. Form bonds by making a childhood best friend and becoming good friends with other youthful sims. Play, adventure, and form lifelong sentiments in the passion of youth before entering your teenage years. And you need to have a child sim and at least one young adult sim or older. Potential outcomes. Create memories and forge the fires of friendship as a child. Renewed friendship, blossoming love, rejection or heartbreak. Battle teenage angst by carrying the story forward where relationships are tested and deeper bonds can form. And it is a limited time scenario, which is not ideal, but it is available practically until the end of next month. Okay, so I need to start a new game so that we can see the updated goth family. I think what I'm going to do for comparison is I'm going to get the goth family off of the gallery so that we can go and visit the goth family and see like a comparison. I think Bella Goth probably had the most changes or should I get all of the goth family? Let's get all of them. Okay, so this is the original goth family, how they used to look when you started up a new game. However, now basically when you start a new save file, the goth family that you will have in game is going to be the updated version. So I'm just going to travel to their household with this old version so that we can have like a comparison. So here we are. Okay, ooh, interesting. So this is the updated Cassandra goth and as you can see she has darker skin tone. Many people felt like the version of Cassandra goth and Bella goth and just the goth family that exist in The Sims 4 didn't look at all like the versions of them in previous iterations of of Sims games. So the Sims team have now updated them to actually look more like the original goth family as many older Simmers would remember them. Okay, I actually really like this. He looks more distinguished than the other version of Mortimer Goth and he just looks slightly more like the Sims 2 version minus the grey hair. Okay, I really like the new version of her. I really like the new version. I presume she also uses an updated skin tone as well because last year the Sims team actually gave us a lot more darker skin tones in the game so I presume she has one of those as well. So this is honestly so good to see. Ooh, I like the new outfit choice. I think she definitely looks more goth. Her makeup is so much better. The old Bella had like strange blue eyeshadow and like brown eyeliner and the makeup just didn't really work together at all. Also, this Bella looks more similar in age to Mortimer, and I just, I just, I really like this. Okay, she, she looks like The Sims 2 Bella more. Okay, so much has happened. We also got that scenario, we got the new song in game, we got the new chair, and I think there was a new table, I think there was a moodlet lamp as well. Okay, I like the fact that on the tweet they put the names of the items so that you can actually search for them and see what was added. Oh my god, they have yellow. Okay. I'm sold already. They have a yellow chair. <laughs> and I, I love the colour swatches we've got as well. Okay, we got a new dining table. Also with a lot of fun swatches as well. Look at that. That is so good. Okay, I, I'm happy with that. And they've also got a lamp, which is called Into the Moodlet. Which, I don't know about you, but it sounds very similar to Into the Future which was an expansion pack for The Sims 3. So is this 
potentially a teaser for a futuristic themed pack because they do often repeat a lot of the themes that they had in previous Sims games with expansion packs for The Sims 4 and this is like the last thing left pretty much. So I don't know if I'm getting too carried away with myself here but maybe, I, I don't know. But either way it's such a cute lamp, look, look at that. This is all the stuff that we've got added in the new update and I, I really like it. I like the outfit choices. I want to see them in Creator Sim. I want to see all of their outfits. So this is the goth family, the updated goth family. Now we get to see them in Creator Sim. I'm not quite sure why I didn't do this originally, but here they are. Ooh, I like. I'm not so sure about these um, leggings slash tights that she's wearing, but I do like everything else. I don't remember having this many colour options. And here's the updated Alexander. Okay, nice. Okay, cool. Okay, I want to see the rest of their outfits. Also, as these townies were created before The Sims 4 Seasons, they didn't have hot and cold weather outfits, and they wouldn't have had nail polish because that is a new recent addition to the game as well. So they're like properly updated for 2022. Okay, this is much better. This is way better. Okay, cool. I'm glad they did this. Oh, and we have a hot weather outfit that actually works. I don't remember seeing this bracelet before. Is this new? I don't remember seeing that. Is that new? I don't know. <laughs> and we have a cold weather outfit. All in fitting with the red and black theme. Nice. That They did a good job on that. We'll look at Mortimer's outfits. Okay, good. Oh, I like this. This is This is an improvement. I'm not sure what I think of the swimwear, I don't know what her original swimwear was, but you know, okay, I'm glad they updated the hot and cold weather outfits as well. Okay, very impressed with this. Very impressed. Well, they did a good job. Well done, Sims team. Love that. Okay, so I am pretty sure now that that is finally everything that I have to update you on in the world of The Sims 4. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope you have a really good day and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.